I like to use alchemy as a sampler um, instrument with like vocal chops and stuff like that. And um, right here, all I have is an expander on the output and like a compressor for the side chain. This one's actually pretty good. It's also free. Um, here's an example of something I made, side chain to the chain. <laughs> And um, the first thing you want to do is take Alchemy, open it up, uh, basically find a preset or make a preset that's just like emptiness, like nothing but like a, a like a, just one sound. Um, in the meantime, you're going to want to actually have a sample to use. Let's go here. Um, let's record. You can just say like a phrase or word. Normally people do this with like the vowel sounds and phrases and stuff like that test. So from here I'm going to take the uh, sound bite I made and zoom in on it pretty close. I'm going to cut off use command double click. It's going to um, chop that up a little bit. Do the same thing again. Clean it up. Let's move over here and let's actually control click bounce in place because right now it's in mono, we want it in stereo. Um, you can just export this into a new track. After that, test. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and actually bounce this. Command B, or you can go to File, Bounce. Um, you wanna go to PCM, so save that as a wave. Press OK. Um, tutorial test. All right, cool. You want to make sure you're keeping track of where your file locations are going to. That'll be pretty handy. So next up is um, take the synthesizer. So right now I have on um, like a square wave. And the simple melody I wrote pretty quick. Gonna get alchemy. Open it up. Next, you're gonna want to make sure your um, files in a folder that that's easy to access. I actually made a file right here. At, I labeled Vox to keep a lot of like my like vocal chops and stuff like that. So I move that in. Next, you want to go to the actual um, module that you're using. So I'm using like um, a go to edit and go to zone. Zone right here allows you to like add like files and stuff like that. Um, you can actually go browsing through whatever places you have on your computer, but in my favorite, it's already saved that file. So test. here is the test file I'm using right now. Let that load up. Most of the time, you're gonna wanna crank the volume settings of all of these. You can hit some keys on your keyboard. Test. 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 To um, get some good points of reference. And you can actually use your trackpad to zoom in to um, get better focus. Test, 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 So from here, you basically have like a generic um, vocal synth, although I like to give mine length. So I'll go here and add um, a loop. This is actually pretty useful. You can zoom in a lot more for this, but... Here we go. So if I'm doing that, you can find like a really good like loop point and stuff like that. Um, another thing that really helps like vocal synths stand out a lot would have to be the glide for sure. Just adding maybe around 3%. Um, adds a lot of like character to the sound. Turning down sustain. And then turning up the uh, decay allows, um, because we have that loop point, allows you to like make it more seamless. After that, you can add like a, a reverb. Those are pretty good. I didn't do that before the side chain. So let's see here. I'm going to use this one. This one's actually not a reverb, but I love to use it as one because of how powerful it is. Crank that up. Ta, 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 ta. All right, 
cool. Let me double check, make sure everything is turned out. Volume is up. Ah, that's what I missed. to make like a, a vocal synth using alchemy and logic. <laughs>